This priest has done something no priest should ever do, because even though he dresses like this, preaches like this, and has his own church with hundreds of followers, he is hiding a dark secret, a secret that would shock the world. Because turns out he was actually a wolf in sheep's clothing that is about to do something straight out of a nightmare. This is the chilling story of Jim Jones. A great deal of God in my body. When Jim was a kid, he was always interested in death. So much so that he even killed his cat and held a funeral for it. And when he grew up, he became obsessed with religion. So he opened his own church and called it the People's Temple. He let blacks and whites come and pray together, something that was unheard of at the time. He made going to church like a party, and people loved him for it. Never shall forget what he's done for me. Oh, what he's done for me. I represent divine principle, total equality, a society where people own all things in common, where there is no rich or poor, where there are no races, wherever there's people struggling for justice and righteousness, there I am, and there I am involved. He preached a message of love and acceptance and helped people to live a better life. Before I came here, I was taking LSD, marijuana, every type of dope you can imagine. Without our Pastor Jim Jones to teach me the right way, I would not be in college right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then he did something unimaginable. Together with his followers, he moved to the middle of nowhere in South America to build his own community. And he called it Jonestown. <laughs> Started with about 141 people. And from that, we've grown to a very thriving congregation. But here in Jonestown, cut off from the rest of the world, is where he started to show his true colors. Turns out, Joan was taking advantage of his followers, taking their money, abusing them, and cutting them off from their families. And when people wanted to leave, he simply wouldn't let them. Then one day, when his followers had had enough of Jonestown, he decided to do the unspeakable. He gathered everyone together, all 900 of his worshippers, and asked them to drink Kool-Aid. Little did they know that this was poison. On this day, 900 people died because they believed this man and his religion. Some people see a great deal of God in my body. In a past video, I showed you a similar story. A man who said he is Jesus, but was sent to jail for child abuse. Together, these men made me realize something. It's easy to believe someone who speaks well, who says things you want to hear, and who offers you a better life. And the sad truth is, it's not always that easy to think for yourself. And that's why I made this video as a wake-up call to everyone. Do you think for yourself? Or do you simply believe what others tell you? Wow! Okay, that was an absolutely crazy video from start to end. As always, I've hidden a secret egg in the video. It looks like this. Find it, take a screenshot, and send it to my Instagram, and I will reply to you with a secret motivational message. I reply to everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.